hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you how i make this nigeria delicious stew please make sure you watch this video to the end and if you have not subscribed make sure you hit the subscription button down below let's get started Here I have my red bell pepper, onion, tomatoes, and my squash bonnet pepper. Here I have my thin tomatoes, onion, and seasoning cube. Here is my salt, curry powder, nutmeg, thyme, ginger powder. This is my vegetable oil and these are the meat I'll be using, cow legs and beef. These are all the ingredients I'll be using. First, I'll be cooking the cow legs for several minutes before adding the beef because the both of them do not have the same timing. Now go ahead and add seasoning cube, my shop onions, curry powder, thyme, nutmeg and ginger powder and also salt and I will add water and cover it to cook for 7 minutes. Now we'll go ahead and blend our tomatoes, onion, squash bonnet pepper and our red bell pepper. Now we'll go ahead and add the beef and leave it to cook for 2 minutes before adding water. And after that I will leave it to cook for extra 8 minutes. At this point, if you know you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please go ahead and hit the subscription button down below. It's free, guys. Now the meat is ready. We have entered the frying session. We we'll go ahead and add oil in our pot and leave it to heat up before adding our shop onion. And we leave it for some minutes before we go ahead and add our thin tomatoes and this will leave it to to fry for one minute before we go ahead and add our tomatoes that we blend earlier on and this will leave it to fry for five minutes and you have to keep shaking it for time to time so that it won't get burnt. And this point you have to be careful because it will be bubbling. And you don't want the whole place to be messed up. At this point the tomatoes is well fried. I will go ahead and add the meat and the meat stock and test if everything is okay and i find out that some things are missing i will add seasoning cube curry thyme nutmeg and salt feel free to add whatever ingredient you find out that is missing because our taste board is different and that is it we leave it to cook for extra two minutes Guys, this is really, really easy to put together. And it is ready. Believe me, guys, this tastes really, really delicious. And if you are going to be making this for your family, 
leave a comment down below and if you have any questions for me feel free to ask at the comment section and if you have not subscribed yet this is the opportunity to do so hit the subscription button down below thanks for watching and see you in my next 